Hello, it's Jim from JetsonHacks.com. In today's tutorial, we will be setting up our Jetson to be a Wi-Fi hotspot. Here's the quickest way. Make sure that you have Wi-Fi hardware installed. On some Jetson models, this is built in. On others, such as the Jetson Nanos, you will need to add a Wi-Fi card and antennas. Once that is done, you're ready to set up the hotspot. Open up System Settings from the launch bar, then select Network. Select Wireless from the left-hand list. At the bottom of the dialog, click the button labeled Use as Hotspot. The Wireless Hotspot dialog appears. Click Turn On, and the Wireless Hotspot has been created. The password for the network is automatically created and uses WEP encryption. Here's the password for the newly created network. Other devices on the Wi-Fi network will use this identifier to connect to the Jetson. Here is the network name which identifies the wireless network. It is the same as the username of the Jetson. At this point, you expect to have a hotspot ready for the world to see. More than likely, you do not. While the network manager has configured a network connection, it is not properly set up for most recent Wi-Fi cards. The Intel 8265 that we are using here is no exception. In order to finish, we need to edit the configuration. There is no obvious way to edit the configuration from the network system settings dialog. This is what we in the user interface business call fail in the user experience. Let's open the network menu from the status bar. The network manager calls a configuration a connection. Select edit connections from the menu. In the network connections dialog, click on hotspot. We can edit this connection by double clicking hotspot or clicking the gear icon at the bottom of the dialog box. Select the Wi-Fi tab. Here's our problem. The mode is set to ad hoc. Ad hoc modes are not supported by many recent Wi-Fi cards. Let's change this to hotspot. Let's make sure that we are editing the correct connection and now click save. Just one more step. We need to start up the hotspot. We do that by connecting to the Wi-Fi network. Open the network menu from the status bar again. You can connect by using either the hidden Wi-Fi network menu entry or create new Wi-Fi network. We will use Connect to Hidden Wi-Fi Network. Go to the Connection drop-down menu and select Hotspot. Then click Connect. And our connection is established. All is good in the world. One reason to use a hotspot is to share an internet connection. The Jetson is connected to a cable modem through a wired Ethernet connection. This gives us access to the internet. Let's switch over to our laptop. There is no internet connection. We open up the network menu from the status bar and select the Jetson Hacks network we just created. Now we type in the security key, which was generated when we originally created the hotspot on the Jetson, as we talked about earlier. Connection established. We refresh the browser and go to our favorite website, jetsonhacks.com. The Jetson is acting as a Wi-Fi router. Let's switch back to our Jetson. Here is another way to set up our Wi-Fi hotspot. You may also hear people refer to a hotspot as an access point or AP. Let's close up these dialogs. Open up the network menu. Disconnect from the Wi-Fi network. And then edit connections. We'll delete the hotspot we created earlier. Select Hotspot and then click the minus button. Are you sure you wish to delete the connection hotspot? Yes, please. Now we hit the plus button to add a connection. We want a Wi-Fi connection. Create. Let's name our connection Hotspot. And let's name our network JetBot. The mode is Hotspot. We set our device to the wireless card. Let's check our IP version 4 settings. The method should be shared to other computers. And our IP version 6 settings should be the same. Let's switch over to the General tab. Automatically connect to this network when it is available is a useful option. With this setting, the Jetson will connect to this network when it boots up. In this case, it will create a hotspot. This allows you to SSH into the Jetson via Wi-Fi or share an internet connection without user intervention. We can also set up a password for this network. Select the Wi-Fi Security tab. From the Security drop-down menu, we can select from different password types. 
Let's use WPA for this example. We'll type in our password and then click Save. Now we are ready to connect to our hotspot, create new Wi-Fi network, hotspot, create, connection established. You are now connected to the Wi-Fi network JetBot. Let's switch back over to our laptop and connect to the JetBot network. Password. Connection established. We are now connected to JetBot. Now we can SSH into the Jetson. Password. We're in like Flynn. And now we can do all our regular work. Let's start up our robot. And we're off to the races. Back here on the Jetson, I will share some useful command line tips. Let me be clear, I would rather be chased by hellhounds after the apocalypse than do low-level network configuration. However, if you need more control over the wireless connection than we have shown in the network manager GUI so far, gooey, gooey, yummy, yummy. here's some points to get started. The network manager stores its configuration files in this directory. This is in a system area, so you will need sudo to look at or edit the files. You can see that this configuration file is a straightforward representation of the information that we entered when configuring the hotspot. Also know that there are many different entries that can be added for specifying additional features. If you do not want to use the Network Manager GUI, gooey, gooey, yummy, yummy. the Network Manager has a command line interface. This tool is named NMCLI. This is a rich tool which gives you low-level control of setting up a network interface. IW is another CLI configuration utility for wireless devices. This is a replacement for the older IW config tool. For example, if we list out our wireless devices using IW, we see a very large amount of information about the capabilities of each device's interface. You can use IW to set up your wireless network similar to NMCLI. Another tool that you may find interesting is Host APD. This tool uses configuration files in order to define your wireless network. 